Hey guys, you're playing New Angeles Subtle. And this is the attempt to make lag time work. Um, we've got ourselves okay hand. Things are a bit sketchy with regard to like account siphons, but uh, do we even want to do that? And we don't. So we want to with a little engine, but it might stop siphon, so we'll try it. I don't know. We've got the sand sand, so if he does steal an R&D the first turn, which is not likely because we have only nine agendas with two food in there, then we're going to be able to just res our sand sand and dump money if we need to. Aw, oh, really? A regular run that's fine I guess oh geez well he's two for two well that was not a great start to the game Do we name Siphon here? What do we name? Well, I think if we had Siphon, we would have already used it. Pretty expensive. Hmm. Everything we have is pretty expensive right now. Security testing. Oh. So we score our Astro and let our HQ be open. We got one dollar. I think we probably just do. I don't know if we can actually protect. Hmm. Prefer to be able to protect this, but I don't know if we can. Don't seem to have the money to do it. See if I can get them to run in here, have a peek at what these are, trigger the product placement, transfer a bit more money to us. Yeah, well, we'll stick a tag on him and we can just name, like, I don't know if we don't want to name Passport or Rex. Mimic ain't cutting it. So he's not going to bite on that. Hmm. I don't know what to call here. You can name this Sprattle, but he clearly doesn't have it. 
And he doesn't need to play it, so I think like we want a card that he needs to play. There's really no such card. Yeah, I think we just go and do this. Get our Astro at the door. Play lag time from hand. Uh, let's name. I don't know. This might be the wrong call. Maybe we should name Passport or like. Well, we can reset it soon enough anyway by squaring the agenda. Oh, bank job. Boo. <laughs> That's really good for him. He didn't trigger Leela, did he? Jeez. Well, it's kind of late now, I guess. I guess I'll have to tell him what his own ability. That's pretty good. Uh, it's almost better than the booth right now. So if I can draw a hedge or a sweeps, the booth becomes pretty reasonable. A lot of money cards left in the deck. Come on, buddy. Read the card. Read the card. This is the entire reason we're playing this identity. Is that this stops you. Okay, that's not bad. A couple more credits together and we can work with this. Let's see, we made an inside job. I think I want to pay nine for the booth right now. It's a lot. It's a pretty good chance you got an inside job in there. Well, I'm gonna res here. So I really don't want him to get my beal. Start to draw some money. I might even pop this early. No, I don't think it's worth popping just for two money cards. Here's Johnny. Okay. He's sitting on a gigantic bank of credits, but doesn't necessarily get him into a server. Oh, that's pretty great. That's what I need is money. I think the Beal's actually pretty good, and the Architect's pretty dubious. It's only going to be good if we get the lag timeout, or we get our patch. So 
So we need to shut off archives. We could use, oh, sneak door. Okay. We do want to shut off archives, probably. Goodbye to Ash. It's not the other world. Come on, not the beetle. Whew, okay. We had bad luck at the start, but it's starting to average out now. So let's try to draw our ash again. Well, I don't know how much good the ash is actually going to be. He's too rich, I think, relative to us. Stuff that in the remote. Take a couple more creds. I think I'm okay letting him sneak door a bunch more times. I mean, if you it's not just Brad or Rice, we're not getting money off this. Yeah, he's sneaking. I don't know if. Oh, shut down, right. That's pretty good. Could have resurrected Chrysium, actually. Made him trash it. Uh, we're going to go to 9 and let him bounce one of these two things. No, I think we are. Our other option is to, like... Way to turn, double ice, and take a money. Well, that's pretty good, too. Yeah, I don't mind that. And we can score the Astro next turn, and then we'll score the Beetle in the remote. That's not bad. He's gonna get a couple looks, and then maybe he's gonna find an agenda. Archangel for four credits. I actually don't think we want to pay four credits. I think we want to keep our credits, or three credits. So three credits. Yeah, three credits is still quite a bit for us right now. So we want to use the shipment, or we want to use real credits to go back down to nine. If we go to nine, we're going to have better resilience against Siphon later on. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we're going to keep it on Desperado. We could swap it for the lag time. Mm. No, I'm sure he's on Desperado if he's not played any console by now. Use your ability, buddy. Can't, you can't draw a card and then trigger your ability and you're getting extra information. Love to get the three point Beal here to win outright. But I'm not sure we can get away with it.
Well, maybe we can do like sweeps, credit advance. Discard Desperado, yeah. So what we need to know is does he have a both breakers to get in here? Don't think he does. So triple advance and use the Astro token will win next turn. We only need one dollar left. Oh, he's gonna try to do the bounce. That's fair. It's a time walk on us if he does. And there's four in there, so four and twenty six. Not great odds for him. Food really helps with reducing the density. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that play. It just doesn't have any breakers. And uh, here we go. Not sure if he thought that's what it was or if he thought it was a food. But yeah, wasn't really impressed with the showing of this deck. I think he just needed to draw more cards. He had plenty of money. I think he took too much money didn't do enough to draw into breakers. And he spent a lot of clicks doing sneak door after we'd shuffled our Jackson and put a card in the remote. I think that should have been a fairly obvious agenda install to get it away from the sneak door. And he should have done less sneak dooring. So the new sound, definitely a champ, forcing him to burn fairies every time he wanted to run there. Um, we could have named Fairy with the target of marketing, but I think the Desperado did cost him probably upwards of like 15 credits in lost run money. Also meant he lacked the MU to actually play three breakers and a sneak door, so I don't know, it wasn't nothing this game. Thanks for watching, guys.